Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to load dynamic MySQL data into pop-up modal, by using jQuery Dialogify plugin with PHP script and Ajax. We have already learned, how to load dynamic data in bootstrap modal, by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery. But now we have use, jQuery Dialogify plugin, for make pop-up modal and, load dynamic data into that pop-up modal using Ajax PHP. jQuery Dialogify plugin, is used to create pop-up modal dialog box, which has been made by using HTML dialog element API, in this plugin we do not write, any HTML code for make pop-up dialog box. Now, let's start discussing this topic, so this is our testing database, and in this we have on employee table, with 7 table column like, ID, name, address, gender, designation, age and images column. In this table, we have already inserted some data, and this data we have already load into jQuery data tables plugin, here we will not discuss how to load data, into jQuery data tables plugin. But here we will discuss, how to use jQuery Dialogify plugin, for load dynamic data into pop-up modal. This is our working folder, in which we have images folder name, with PHP file like index.php, database connection PHP, fetch.php, and fetch single.php. We have already make database connection, under this database connection.php. Same way this fetch.php file, is used for fetch data from employee table and load into jQuery data tables plugin in index page. This is our index.php file, in this file, we have already included jQuery library, bootstrap library, and jQuery data tables library, here we have also included jQuery Diglogifa library link also. By using this link, we can use Dialogifa plugin functionality on this page, here we have already write code for load data, into jQuery data tables, so here we will on discuss in this part. First we have go to fetch.php, here we can see view button code, in which we have store employee id under, id attribute of button, and in class we have write view, this class we will use as selector in jQuery code. Now we have go to index.php file, and here we have write dollar document selector, with on method, under this we have write click event, with view button class view, when we have click on view button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write id variable is equal to, dollar this with attribute method, under this we have write id, this code will fetch value from id attribute, and store under id variable. For initialize Dialogify plugin, first we have to set options of this plugin, so here we have write option variable is equal to bracket. Under this first we have write, Ajax prefix option, here we want to use Ajax for fetch data, so here we can define PHP file, name, here we have set blank, 
and PHP file name we will use in Dialogify object. In second option, we have write Ajax data option, in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have send id variable value send to server. In third option, we have write Ajax complete callback function, this function will be called if request completed successfully. Under this function, we have write this dot buttons method, under this method we can define how button, and button property, so here we have write type option set to dialogify dot button primary, it will add primary button in dialogify modal, when it was pop up on web page, so here we have set all required option for dialogify plugin. Now we have write, new dialogify method with two argument, in first argument source we have write fetch single dot php, and in second options argument, we have option variable. This method, will initialize dialogify plugin, and it will send ajax get data request to, fetch single dot php file. Here we have write dot title method, with text like view employee details, this text will be seen on dialogy modal. After this we have write, dot show modal method, this method will pop up dialogy modal on web page, with dynamic data. So, here our front end code ready for, use of dialogy for plugin now we have go to fetch single dot php file and here first we have include statement with database connection dot php file this code will make database connection on this page below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar get id variable if value of this variable has been set then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from employee table where id is equal to dollar get id variable Below this select query, we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with, execute method, it will make query for execution. After query execution, we have write, dollar result variable is equal to, dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it return query execution data, which has been store under dollar result variable. Now we have write, for each loop, and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable by using this loop it will fetch data from dollar result variable under this loop first we have write dollar images variable is equal to blank below this we have write if dollar row images variable is not equal to blank if images tables column has some value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar images variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to images folder name slash dollar row images variable 
it will display employee image from images folder. But suppose, images table has blank value, then it will execute else block of code, under this block we have write dollar images variable is equal to, image tag with source is equal to, image link, it will display blank user image, if employee image is not available. Now, we have write, dollar output variable, and in this variable first we have append HTML code, with dollar images variable, it will display employee image. After this, we want to display employee name, so here we have write dollar row name variable, it will display employee name details. Below this, we want to print employee address, so here we have write dollar row address variable, it will print employee address details. Same way, we want to display employee gender details, so here we have write dollar row gender variable, it will display employee gender details. Now we want to print employee designation details, so here we have write dollar row designation variable, it will print employee designation details. And lastly, we want to display employee age details, so here we have write dollar row age variable, it will display employee age details. So, this way we have store employee data in HTML format, in dollar output variable, now we have write echo statement with dollar output variable, it will send data to dialogy for Ajax request, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see when page has been load into browser, then we can see employee data on web page in jQuery data table plugin. On every row of employee data, here we can see view button, this view button is used for display complete employee details, so, when we have click on this button, then dialogy for modal will pop up on web page with employee details. So, we have click on first row view button, after click on view button, modal dialog box pop up on web page, here we can see complete employee details, here we cannot see employee image, because it was not available. Same way we have click on second row, employee view button, after click on view button, we can see second row employee details in dialogy for modal dialog box, here we can see employee image also. So, this way we can load dynamic data in dialogy for modal dialog box, this modal we can for view employee details, without going to other page, we can view details on web page. This script load dynamic data using dialogy for plugin with PHP Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.